just a guy that does HVAC and likes to film it and put it on YouTube. All right guys, here it is. Carrier rooftop unit. Gonna open it up. Uh, these bearings are shot. There's my stuff. Let's get started. As you can see here, we got a crack in the uh, blower pulley. Um, that's gonna get replaced. Uh, we're keeping the housing. We're replacing both pulleys, motor, uh, squirrel cage and shaft and bearings. All right, I've got the uh, motor completely removed. I have to lift the uh, lift the lid up so I can get to these screws and get this blower out. All right, got my corded DeWalt Sawzall. Got these uh, Milwaukee Torch bimetal um, Sawzall blades. Five times the life, baby. I run through Sawzall blades like you wouldn't believe. So I like a corded Sawzall. Uh, you don't have to mess with batteries. You can always find power somewhere. So I'm gonna get this blade put in there. We're gonna cut this sucker apart. All right, well, as you can see, I got a nice cut. You just cut that stuff right out. There's no point. We're replacing the uh, squirrel cage, so no need to try and get all this stuff apart. It's just easier. It takes a third of the time. And uh, we're gonna get ready to put everything back together. You wanna make sure you get your rotation right on your blower wheel, as you can see. Here's an arrow here, rotation's this way. So you're gonna wanna stick your blower wheel in. So the uh, concave uh, veins on this are, are sucking air in through the sides and blowing it out the bottom. So this is the correct way to uh, have the blower wheel positioned. And what comes is your bearing, and it's got these little tabs that stick out. So it'll slide in here. This, uh, this ring clips on the end, and it's got a star bit in there. And you don't have to crank them too, too hard. You can break this off. I've done it before. I had to run and go get a new bearing because I broke the ring. Uh, but once the shaft's through there, this will stick on. You snug that down, and this thing's not going anywhere. That one's pushed all the way into this bracket that receives the uh, bearing. I like to tilt it up on its side. That way you can line everything up. So now we're through one bearing, we're through the blower wheel, and we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna feed it in through the last bearing.
And as you can see, we've made it through the other bearing. So what we're gonna do is check our distances here. We'll get both bearings tightened down and then we'll be able to um, tighten down the blower wheel and uh, we'll make sure it's got space, the proper spacing on each side. And we're gonna be in good shape here real quick. Three and an eighth. I like this little tool here. It's uh, from Harbor Freight. It's got all your different star bit sizes on it and it's compact and you can just throw it in your tool bag and pull it out when you need it. That's all you got right there. It's just a ring, tightens down, locks onto this shaft and uh, it's not going anywhere. So I just start tightening it. Snug and as you can see, it's a little bit cockeyed. So I straighten it up and it'll loosen up. Give it another one, push it on there, get it straight. Another one, come on you. There it goes, it's straightened right back up. And it's not cockeyed now, but I always try to keep these as straight as possible. That way it is uniform around those taps on the um, bearing. That's what locks down to the shaft. And that's it. And as you can see, we've got, got it locked down. And it looks like it doesn't have any wobble on it. It's on there nice and straight. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So that one's good. So now we've got both bearings uh, tightened down. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna space this blower wheel. That way it's um, spaced evenly right in the middle of the blower housing. So this is, this is what we're tightening down to lock this blower wheel onto this shaft. And uh, the 5 16 wrench, it just fits on there perfect. So, um, not real easy to do with one hand, but uh, just uh, showing you that's what I'm tightening down. Aside from our blower pulley, uh, this blower is rebuilt. And you can see it's not going anywhere. So now I'm gonna get the new motor put on the uh, adjustment plate. We're gonna get everything put back into the unit. And there's our motor. All right, I got it all wired up for low voltage, which is 208, 230. I didn't go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, there's videos out there. I have one or two that show you how to wire a motor. If you're interested, you know, you go to my uh, channel and uh, look it up. I believe it's called Blower Motor Replacement. I think I have one or two up there. Uh, I actually like this style uh, of blower uh, assembly an adjustment plate on this particular type of carrier. Some of the carriers have such a flimsy plate. It's not, I mean, this is very stout and when you adjust this motor and adjust tension, it uh, it stays in place. I've had some of these carriers that you start applying uh, some pressure and some tension on that belt, this whole adjustment plate, not this one, but there, there's a, I, oh, one day when I run into it, I'll make a quick video about it, but the whole plate, bends like this it throws the pulleys off and everything i hate it so uh, this is the style carrier i like to replace um, anyway i'm gonna get this bolted back in we're gonna get these pulleys lined up all right i got all my wiring uh, zip tied back in place looks pretty good um, gonna get these pulleys lined up get the tension right check the amp draw on the motor and we're gonna be cleaning up soon Hello. All right, guys, I got her running. It's rated for 5.2 amps. We're pulling 3.767775. It looks good to me. The um, pulleys are all aligned. The belt's uh, nice and tight. Not too tight, though. Go ahead and uh, get all my mess cleaned up, get my van straightened out, do the paperwork, and um, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. These uh, types of jobs, they're just, they're easy, they're fun. You get to, uh, you know, take your time, take things apart, cut things, 
and then uh, put it back together. So um, just wanted to say thank you to everybody that subscribes to my channel and watches the videos. You know, I'm just a, uh, I'm just a guy that does HVAC and likes to film it and put it on YouTube. Uh, by no means am I trying to be a teacher or an authoritative source for information. I'm not anything great, you know. I'm a good technician. I can solve problems, but like I said, there's channels out there for uh, authoritative, informational, Chris Stevens over at HVACR videos, uh, Curious HVAC Guy, um, HVACR Survival. Those are just three that I know of, that I watch and enjoy because I get, uh, you know, good information from those channels. Me, I'm just an HVAC technician, just like a lot of you guys out there. I'm not doing the most technical things uh, from day to day. I'm replacing blower bearings. I'm, uh, you know, replacing a lot of heat exchangers. We did a lot of heat exchangers this winter. Uh, in fact, we just did one the other day. I debated, do I make another video about heat exchanger and uh, the heat just kicked on kind of odd it's fairly warm out um, anyway what I'm trying to say is I'm just a regular HVAC guy I'm not doing anything special here um, if you like what I'm doing it's just my day-to-day -day stuff what I'm replacing what I'm finding hopefully the weather gets a lot hotter here real quick and uh, we can start finding some air conditioning problems compressor replacements, TXVs, uh, things of that nature. Um, I'm really looking forward to making some videos about that and putting it out. So again, thank you to everybody that subscribes. Please like, please leave me comments. My email address is in the description. You got a question, uh, you'd like me to do something specific in my videos, please send me an email, let me know, leave me a comment. And I definitely appreciate everybody out there in YouTube land. So, uh, from Akron, Ohio, I'm done with this one and I'll see you on the next one.